Hey there, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works, where we do everything from virtual mentoring, hackathons, on-demand learning, private trainings, boot camps, we do a lot. Uh, and what I wanna bring you in this week's video is a new feature within Power BI, which is the Power Automate Visual. Now this came out in April as a preview feature, but now with the July update, it is right into your desktop application. Uh, and I wanna show you what you can do with it. And there's a lot that you can do, but I wanna show you how you can basically bring it in, start to get things cooking, uh, and then just kind of adventure with it on your own and, and browse and see what else you can do. So what I'm going to do in today's Power Automate visual demonstration is show you how you can capture data insights with on your report and then send an automated email to individual users. Uh, now this is gonna be creating it from scratch, but there's a lot of templates that come with the Power Automate visual, uh, but I wanna show you one of my scenarios that I've come up with. So let's go on over, take a look at the report and see how to set this up. So as you can see, I've got a report right here measuring quite a few different things, and I have a slicer down here at the very bottom. This is who I'm going to send the email out to, so this is part of my data itself. And what I wanna do is as I'm looking at something on my report, I want to send some key metrics that I think are good data insights uh, for my individual users. So the first thing we need to do is put in the Power Automate visual. And we can do this right over here from the visualizations pane. So I'm gonna simply click on our Power Automate visual. It's going to put it on here. And now what I like to do is, is go into focus mode of the visual because it's gonna give you all of the steps that you need to do. And step number one is we have to add data to the visualization, just like with any other visual on a report. And whatever you bring in here, this is the data that you can use within the automate as you start to build it out. So I'm gonna bring in a few things that I want to report on and also who I wanna send the email to. So what I'm gonna bring in here is I'm going to bring in the I want to report on the number of, of orders that I, I have on the page. So I'm going to bring in orders. I also want to bring in the email that I want to send this to. Uh, I'm going to bring in as well the profit margin. And again, it can be anything that you want it to be. I'm just showcasing a few uh, fields here. And then finally, I'm going to go and bring in the calendar year that I'm looking at. Once I have all of that in here, now it's time to go and set up the automate itself. And all of these fields I brought in, I can now use within the automate. So the way we set up the automate is we come up to the ellipses at the top and we're gonna hit edit. And once we hit on edit, we now go into creating one right from templates that they have. So you can see we've already got some ones made by Microsoft. And I think these are gonna get more and more as time goes on or we can make a brand new one from scratch. So I'm gonna hit new in an instant cloud flow because this is gonna be when they click on the button. So you can see here, Power BI button is clicked. And so now I'm gonna add in a new step. And again, what I wanna do is send an email. So I'm gonna go with send email and I'm gonna come right here. And now for the two, I'm not gonna hard code this. This is why I have that slicer on there with email addresses. I'm gonna hit add dynamic content. And now I can use anything that I brought in. So whenever we see the Power BI, those are fields from Power BI. So let me find the one here. Now this is the only thing I don't like having to hover over. I wish they would show the whole thing all the way through. So Power BI data, picture perfect. And this is our, um, oh, actually, you know what I think I, no, there it is right here. Power BI data, send automated emails. Perfect, that is my automate emails um, field right here. In the subject, I'm gonna go with something like data insights. And then in the body, this is where I can start to put things in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let me show the calendar year first. And I'll zoom on in here. And now I just gotta find that calendar year. There it is. And then I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna also put in the orders. And let me find our Power BI orders, which is this one. And come on down, profit margin. And I think it was this one right here. And I'm also just gonna show you one of the pre-created ones they have is called Power BI data. And this will give all of the fields that we brought in in one list. So once I have that set up, I simply come on over. And again, you can add as much extra action. So if you're very familiar with Automate and you have some unique scenarios and you know how to really leverage this, uh, you can use variables, you can do conditional checks on things for certain things to happen based on the data values. But we're gonna keep it fairly simple for this demonstration. 
But once I have it set up, all I do now is I hit save. It has been saved in just a second. There we go. Let's go back to the report. But oh, it is not ready to go yet. So all we did is we made the automate, but we have to put it in production. We got to basically like turn it on or attach that to this automate visual. And the way that we do that is we're going to go back into the edit mode and then find our individual automate that we've made, which is right here. And we hit the check and this now applies it to that visualization. So now when we go back to our report, uh, I'm going to select, let's say I'll go with 2008. I want to send it to myself and now I'm just going to click on the button. Now notice when we click on the button in the desktop, nothing happens because we are in the design mode, so to speak. So they're thinking, what else do you want to do formatting wise? Do you want to change the color, the text, so on and so forth? I'm just going to keep it at that basic run flow, but you do have a lot of formatting options of the button itself. So now I'm going to control click it. And again, because I'm in the uh, desktop, I have to hold down that control key in order to get the click to do its registration. And in just a few seconds, I will get an email sent to me with all of that data that I put into the automate itself. So we're just going to wait a few seconds here and wait for that email to pop up. And here is our email calendar year 2008. And I should put a space there, but orders, profit margin, and there's that Power BI data where it gives me everything that I had brought into that visualization. So pretty neat, it works. Uh, and I can send this to multiple people. It didn't just have to be to my email address. So if I would have selected different email addresses, all of them would have uh, been returned with this email. Now, the one thing to know here next is that it's not ready to go for everybody. Only I can currently use this visualization. So if I want, when I share this out with other people, if I also want them to be able to interact with this visual, I've got one more step that I need to do. So I'm gonna go back into edit and we're gonna go into that flow itself. And I have to come over here and edit and add other people. So if I share this with Mitchell and I want Mitchell to be able to use the button, I have to put Mitchell into this run only users. Um, so fairly simple process. Again, a very easy automate. It's a new feature. Wanted to show you how it works. Also for my automate people, if you know, uh, using automate a lot, when you go into the run history, you can click on it, see how it has succeeded. If it failed at any step, see what the outputs are. So you still have all that functionality right here within the desktop application. So I hope you want to start using this visual. Uh, if you come up with any unique ideas, please share them with the community. Uh, again, I just made one simple one, sending out an email. You already have four pre-created templates, but you can start to get the show on the road, start exploring on your own, uh, and have some fun with this automate visual and automate the process. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, let, us know, let me know what you want to see um, extra things about. And I hope to see you in the next video.